This week, a Catholic aid group in the United Kingdom released a report on persecution of Christians. Among its findings is that Christianity is fast disappearing from the Middle East as Christians flee ethnic cleansing by radical Islamic groups. The report, called Persecuted and Forgotten, is published by the group Aid to the Church in Need. John Pontifex is the lead author of that report, and he joins us now from London by Skype. John, thank you for coming on the broadcast. Listen, the report includes this disturbing statement. Christianity is on course to disappear from Iraq, potentially within five years. How did you arrive at this conclusion? Well, we have uh, quite clear statistics that show how many Christians there were in Iraq before the fall of Saddam. It was said before his fall in 2003 that there were perhaps a million or 1.2 million Christians. But if we look at what's happened since, the figures have declined very drastically. So that we're now looking at numbers in the range of 200 to 250,000 Christians, of whom about 100 or 150,000 are in fact displaced and as a result looking for an exit from Iraq. And, and, and to that point, John, what kind of help is needed to stop this massive exit uh, and retain uh, Christianity in the Middle East? Well, the first thing is emergency aid, because so many of them have been forced to flee their homes and are living in displacement areas where they are lacking basic food, basic shelter, uh, basic medicine and all sorts of other emergency aid provision. And so Aid to the Church in Need is among those organizations providing that emergency help. Otherwise, these people would basically die. It's interesting that uh, you, you discovered in your report that it's not only in the Middle East. You're also seeing this level of persecution happening in Africa. Tell us what's happening there. Well, it seems that extremist Islam is making a definite bid for the soul of Africa, and particularly in Nigeria and in the surrounding countries and also in East Africa, spreading down from uh, Sudan. Of course, Egypt has had its troubles and right down to Ethiopia, uh, Eritrea, um, Kenya and Tanzania have each in their own ways experienced an upsurge of extremist Islam, which has different names, uh, but has the same outcome, namely pressure on uh, those groups that it perceives as contrary to its express way of life. And Christians are in many ways top of the list to get rid of. Mm. Your country's Prime Minister, David Cameron, introduced, in fact, your report to the House of Lords. Tell us what he said. Well, he, he wrote a, a letter uh, to be read out at the uh, launch of the report. And in it, he spoke about what he called the systematic discrimination and exploitation of Christians who are driven from their homes. And he commended this report, saying uh, that it actually gives a voice for the voiceless. Uh, it's interesting because it's not just David Cameron, but uh, uh, Pope Francis and other world leaders have spoken out against the, the suffering church in the Middle East. But it appears that nothing is being done. I mean, your report, reports of what we've been doing for the last four or five years of the persecution taking place in the, in the heart of the Middle East, it appears that all of this is falling on deaf ears, that the United States, Great Britain, uh, is not doing enough in order to to save this, uh, this uh, religion from extinction, right? Yes, it, it's absolutely clear that um, we see um, a disconnect between words, many fine words, of those who express concern and indeed dismay at the persecution of Christians and actions which are precious few. It's interesting, John, that even though there is terrible persecution, we're also hearing reports that the church uh, is thriving like never before. What do you make of that? Well, it, it is thriving in, in some parts, but we have to be clear that um, what really emerges from this report is the extent to which Christianity is being pushed back. We are certainly seeing what we would call uh, an, an ethnic cleansing motivated by religious hatred. We would certainly call it a cultural genocide, um, and we would see it as part of uh, extremist Islam's vision to rebuild caliphates 
um, and construct new ones, I hasten to add, and uh, drive Christianity not just from its ancient heartland, but from more recent places where it has sprung up. And it needs to be absolutely clear in people's minds uh, that this is a very genuine threat. Okay, John Pontifex, thank you so much for this important report. It's called Persecuted and Forgotten. John is with uh, the, the, the group Aid to the Church in Need. Thank you so much for your analysis, sir. Thank you.